Jade Heinz Clark. Here we go. Thank you for joining us on the uh, Spider Success Podcast. Uh, I, I allow you uh, to go ahead and introduce yourself and uh, what it is that you do here at the University of Richmond. Absolutely. Thanks, RD. Um, hi, everybody. Jade Hines Clark. Um, I'm a former spider student athlete, but lucky enough to still be here as a spider on staff. And so in my role, um, I'm the coordinator of student athlete uh, leadership and development. Um, and really, I get to work with students on all things leadership, all things community service, um, really finding ways to allow them to grow um, and be champions in all facets of life. Nice. I like that. That sounds very good. So could you give us a, a overview of how it is you got to where you are currently? Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, the best place to start is obviously I'm from New Jersey, the <laughs> best state, um, <laughs> the best state. Um, yeah. But yeah, I was recruited. Uh, <laughs> I was recruited by the University of Richmond um, and was lucky enough to be coached by two phenomenal coaches, Coach Schaefer um, and Coach Roussel and their staff. And so, I mean, it's I remember when I was being recruited, I went to Richmond um, just by being at a tournament in the area, wasn't being recruited at that time, but absolutely loved campus. And it was funny that, you know, about a year or so later, I got uh, my first um letter from the University of Richmond in the mail to begin that recruiting process. And um, it was it was a really full circle moment as I just remembered loving the campus itself. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, as I was going and visiting different schools, I would always say, yeah, I like it, but it's not Richmond. So there was something about Richmond that I knew from the time I visited that I was going to be a spider. And so came here from um, 2016 to 2020 and played on the women's basketball team and absolutely loved my experience. And so, again, you know, I think I'm in the position that I am now to still be here on staff because of the folks that poured into me um, while I was here as a student. So the Lauren Wicklins, the folks in the career services uh, department, folks all over campus who really um, had my best interest at heart and were helping me grow as an individual. So feel very lucky and fortunate enough to be able to work with student athletes in that same capacity now. Awesome. Awesome. So uh, as you kind of speak towards the capacity that you have at the university, uh, do you have or uh, what programs do you have going on that you would like to highlight uh, programs and events uh, in the near future? Yeah, absolutely. So with with my role, again, working with all things leadership, um, I oversee our leadership cohort. So work really closely with Lauren Wicklin, who's phenomenal um, on leadership programming for what we have um, or what we call our rising leaders and our champion leaders. And so our rising leaders are usually our sophomores, juniors, the occasional first year student athlete. Um, and then our champion leaders program is for our juniors, seniors um, and grad students. And so the programming that we do for those different cohorts are specifically tailored to what it is they're doing, what it is um, that may be going on on their teams, um, and really, you know, allowing them to walk away with a better understanding of their own leadership and how they can use their leadership in the classroom, on the court field, in the pool, um, and then out in the community. Um, you know, we also do a lot with community service, and I know for me, being here as a student athlete, community service is one of the things that fired me up more than anything. Uh, mm -hmm. just to be able to get back to our community. So we do a lot with community service. Um, we actually had um, our field hockey team go to the Reinhardt Guest House, which is right. um, a few minutes up from campus. Um, and for World Mental Health Day, they made goodie bags for all of the guests that are staying um, at the Reinhardt Guest House while their families are um, you know, away at St. Mary's. So again, just trying to find ways where we're out in the community supporting um, you know, the folks who are supporting us, right, coming to our games um, and, and, and really making sure that Spider Athletics has a presence in the community. Um, and right now, we also just kicked off our um, food drive um, and our women's lacrosse team actually kicked it, kicked it off this past Saturday at their play day. Yeah, they did. Uh, yeah, and I was just organizing all of the food and we already are getting ready to need a third box here in Millheiser. So yeah, I think just, again, you know, having our student athletes, you know, think about how they're supporting our communities, <clears throat> what they're doing outside of their sport to, again, just keep growing and, and, and really understanding what's important to them. That's outstanding. Uh, and like you said, the opportunities to give back are plentiful. Uh, and if people are looking 
for a chance to help and get involved in the community. You're the person uh, to go to. Um, I guess the last thing I'd love for you to uh, kind of expound on or give your two cents is um, what, what words of wisdom or words of encouragement uh, you could, you know, share with the current spider athletes, uh, being an alum and an employee here, uh, what kind of, uh, yeah, words of wisdom can you give to them? Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a lot, but I, I think if I kind of narrow it down, the, the one thing that's kind of top of mind for me right now is just continuing to grow, right? We talk about it all the time with our leadership cohorts, like finding ways to grow as an individual. But I think even just finding things that you're interested in is something that uh, as a young professional, I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what is it that I like to do? And and for me, like, I love volunteering. That's something that fills my cup up. And I think, you know, obviously I was, we've got student athletes who are looking to get jobs and doing amazing things with internships that, you know, it, it can be really easy to look and think about, you know, what that next step is, but also pausing just to, you know, understand and really know within yourself, you know, what are those things that you enjoy doing that maybe don't have a monetary element to it, right? Some of the things that, um, you know, really fill your cup up outside of that and, and just trying to find ways to, to learn more about yourself and your passions is something that I would suggest. Yeah, man, uh, that that's totally uh, in my wheelhouse as well, you know, uh, your passions and interests are plentiful and, you know, a place like the University of Richmond is a great place to explore uh, those things that you are interested in. And, you know, yeah. somebody like yourself is a great tool that we all should take advantage of to help uh, thresh out those things that we are interested in. So um, that's all I got. Uh, I, I do want to say thank you very much for your time and your patience uh, through some of the technical difficulties. But uh, I appreciate you and, uh, you know, go Spiders. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.